Welcome wrestling fans, thanks for tuning in to the Wrestling Talk Show, thanks for tuning in today and every other day, let's get the Monday Night Raw review started, Dave Batista comes back to, to the WWE, this is awesome, he's coming back to the WWE man, I think this is awesome that this is coming down to this, you know, he would interfere in the whole Ready on Triple H, Stephanie McMahon thing, the segment, he said I'm coming for that world title, and I'm back because I'm getting. I'm gonna go for that. He's gonna win the Royal Rumble. That's my opinion. That Batista wins the Royal Rumble this year for 2014. And I know a lot of people are gonna want Daniel Bryan to win. A lot of people want CM Punk to win it. But you know what? I love both of them guys. No offense, but I want to, to Batista to win the Royal Rumble because I want to see former Evolution people collide at WrestleMania 30 for the WWE World Heavyweight championship belt because that's what i want and that's what i want to see and i think that's what we're going to get at wrestlemania 30 but now there's a whole thing with batista and del rio batista came out last night and would power bomb del rio so it seems like we're going to have a feud with you know after the royal rumble we might have a match between Alberto Del Rio and Dave Batista at Elimination Chamber. That would be a good way. You know, maybe if it doesn't happen at the Chamber, maybe, you know, somewhere down the road in the future of this year. They do have a feud, though, before, you know, whenever, if, how long Batista stayed for it. But, yeah. So, Raw, Raw was actually good when Batista came back, you know. You know, he's been, it's been four years in the making since we haven't seen him. You know, he's... He's good, man. I think he's ready to be where he wants to be, and that's make it to the top in the WWE again, you know, like what he did before. So I hope he lasts for a long, long time in this company because they'll have a lot of great feuds. Then Goldust and Cody Rhodes versus Biggie Langston. I mean, they would, no, Cody Rhodes, Goldust, Biggie Langston versus Shield. Good match. Darren Bryan came out and said about the whole segment thing with the Wyatt family. Then Punk would come out, Kane and Punk would come out, and Kane wanted to apologize to Punk. And he did. Then Punk would verse Billy Gunn. P CM Punk beat Billy Gunn. The real on Rey Mysterio, stupid match. I'm getting tired of seeing that crap every single week. I'm, I'm just done. I'm tired of it. I had enough. It's boring now. Big Show came out, and then Brock Lesnar would come out, try to beat up the Big Show, and it didn't work. AJ Lee and Tamina versus Naomi and Cameron. Another stupid match. Squash this. I'm getting tired of seeing this crap, too. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan versus the Usos. This was a very good match. Where are the Usos going nowadays? You know, I'm getting tired of this, too, as well. You know, are they going to be in this tag, team the title, this tag team title anymore? Because it seems like they're not going to be in it no more. And I'm getting tired of it because they're always in these tag matches all the time. So, WWE, you know, what the hell are you trying to do to these, this good, perfect tag team right now? Randy Orton versus Kofi Kingston. I don't remember who won this match. I think it was Randy Orton. I'm not sure. I got distracted on, you know, what was going on and stuff because I got stuff going on others besides watching Raw. But anyways, Raw was good. John Cena came out and interfered and would beat up Randy Orton. Go out, go everywhere. So Raw was good. I'm not gonna lie, you know. So let me com leave me your comments, leave me your opinions, tell me how you felt about Monday Night Raw wrestling fans. Subscribe to the Wrestling Talk Show. And let's get this thing started for 2014. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.